does your job role? Uh, so I am the set and costume designer on this production of Holes. How did you get into becoming a designer? I got interested in it when I was still at school. I used to really enjoy being part of all of the school shows that, um, that we would do, a couple of them every year. And I think at one point I realised I really didn't actually like acting and I wasn't very good at acting. Um, but I still wanted to be part of it and I always really enjoyed art at school. So my uh, drama teacher at the time suggested that there was this thing called theatre design because I'd never really thought about it. And I went started looking into it then and then I've been doing it ever since then. The first show I went to is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Do you remember the, sh the first show that you went to? I think I used to go and see the Pantos locally with my, with my family when I was a kid. I, I know I used to go and see them, but the first show that I really remember seeing was the musical Cats. And we went on a school trip this, the, a long time ago. Um, when I was probably about 10 years old, I think. We went to see that and that really stuck with me after I saw that. When you're designing, how do you fit the style to the script? You can learn a lot from the script in terms of how quickly it moves. Because sometimes you get some plays where it's all set in one room and that will kind of tell you one thing about how it, um, how it needs to work. Uh, something like Holes, there's lots and lots of really short scenes that happen very, very quickly. Some of them are only like a page or a couple of pages long. So from that, uh, we kind of learnt that whatever we did needed to be very easy to move and very quick to move and very easy to change. So a lot of the decisions we made on uh, staging holes all came from that idea from first reading the script. So when you went through the design of script, which bits do you think were easy and which bits do you think were a bit hard? Um, I don't know that any of this story is easy to try and do on stage. A lots of it was really tricky. I mean, so much of it is about digging great big holes, which is quite hard to do on stage. And there's lots of it, there's lots of kind of walking across the desert and climbing mountains. And um, then there's lots of kind of jumps backwards and forwards in different time periods and different places. So it was quite complicated to try and work out exactly how we'd want to do that. Um, but once we, once we started working it out, it all sort of started to flow from there. Once we worked out kind of how we were going to do the digging, then uh, that helped us make a lot of other decisions about how we'd stage the rest of the show. What makes a good set? A good set needs to help tell the story. Um, it shouldn't get in the way of what the actors are doing, because they obviously they have the script and they're doing a lot of telling the story themselves. But I think a really good set can help tell the story in a slightly different way um, to, what, to the words that the actors are using. And I think that can be to do with the pictures that you make on stage and the way that you set things up on stage so it kind of helps work out, helps the actors work out how to use the space. Um, but yeah, I think you can kind of set up lots of interesting things about relationships between characters and uh, help tell uh, a bit more of the background and the period and the place and things that the actors don't say. I think that if it's a kind of a good design, I think it can help tell lots of those things in a kind of in the background. So in class we are um, making Maya masks and we are using tissue paper. What kind of materials do you need to have to make um, a costume? To make a costume, um, we tend to use lots of different fabrics um, to make uh, regular clothes, but then there'll also be things uh, when there's kind of strange, fantastic costumes and animals and things. We kind of use any materials. I've made things before out of cardboard and plastic, and we've done some things out of metal before and kind of made frames for people that then we've kind of covered with fabric or we've used tissue paper and covered it um, with things. So I think you can use kind of any, any materials at all, it's kind of whatever you think works best for creating the look or the shape of the character that you're trying to make. When you read Holes, were there any key scenes that inspired your designs from the Holes? Yeah, two scenes. Um, quite near the beginning, when Stanley first arrives at Camp Green Lake, 
and um, he's been on a really long journey. He's come from the city, he's been on a really long journey on the bus, and then suddenly he's in this big open space and can't see anything for miles. And then about halfway through the story, when we go back in time and we go back to Camp Green Lake as it used to be, um, before it was the camp, when it was actually the lake in the 1890s, and it's, it describes exactly the same place where the camp was, but at that time it was lake and trees and um, lots of life there. And so it was kind of looking at those two scenes next to each other that was a big inspiration in terms of how we might try and make the world of the show. Because we knew we'd have both of those scenes to, to have to do on stage. Um, so it was interesting seeing how one might turn into the other. So I'm going to secondary school next year. And so what advice would you give me if I was going to be a designer? Get as involved in any of the school shows that you can. Um, and that might be acting in them, or they might, if they take on students to do other bits and pieces like designing bits or helping out with the costumes or helping out backstage, do any of those things. Because I think all of those jobs, you'll learn lots of different little bits and pieces and you get a really good understanding into how the whole world of making a show works rather than just the, the acting bit, which we normally do when we were at school. Um, but yeah, you'll get to learn about all the other different types of jobs and how they all come together to help make a piece of theatre. When Holes comes to Blackpool, what, does, what design should we look out for? Um, there's, well hopefully there's lots of exciting bits that you should look out for. But um, obviously look out for the digging and how we do the holes. And look out for the mountain and how we do that. Um, there's lots of puppets in the show. Um, of all different types, so look out for them look out for there's a lot of the way that the lighting designers used a lot of weather in the show there's lots of kind of we're out in the desert and there's lots of kind of times of day and see if you can see what time of day we are at any point in the show have you ever been to Blackpool before uh not for a long time i went on a family holiday when i was uh yeah when i was about eight years old i think i've not been back since then is there anything that i should do while i'm up there blackpool tower and blackpool tower yeah it's a Blackpool Tower I saw when I was a kid, but I'll definitely go back and have another look. And the Grand Theatre. And the Grand yes. Theatre, of course. Definitely go and have a look around there. And then there's lots of sand in the show, so we can we'll have our own sand castles on stage. So if you can choose a character from Holes, and then I'd like you to have a think about what their costume might be. Uh, how are they involved in the story? Where, um, what scenes are they involved in? And also have a little bit of a think about how that works in the show. Some of the actors need to play lots of different characters, so it's useful to have a think about how they might quickly change from one thing to another. What sort of clothes might they wear? What sort of fabrics might they, uh, those clothes be made out of? And how does that work to help tell the story behind all of those characters?